Sydney Live. A lot of us are looking for a way, maybe an overnight, to get away from the monotony of the everyday. So you can roll up to Montage Palmetto Bluff to have that experience. And I have their sommelier with some drink options that will definitely invite you to check it out. Hello there. My name is Bob Smith. I'm a sommelier here at the Montage Palmetto Bluff Resort in the beautiful Low Country in Bluffton, South Carolina. Uh, here in the Low Country, we have such a bounty of, of outdoor activities available. We really enjoy being outside, whether that's being out on the May River in a boat uh, or a kayak, horseback riding, perhaps maybe some target shooting. But at the end of a long day, being out on the water or on the trail, sometimes you just want to kick back and relax, whether it's on one of the many porches in a rocking chair that we have available here on the property at Montage Palmetto Bluff, or perhaps getting your family together and sitting by one of our many fire pits that are scattered throughout the property. Uh, perhaps we, with our famous s'mores for the young ones and maybe something a little stronger for the adults. Uh, and into that vein, I have a couple of cocktails picked out that are perfect for when you're sitting next to the campfire, relaxing with your family and catching up on the day's activities. So the first one is a take on a Manhattan. It's a black Manhattan or an Italian Manhattan, however you want to call it. Uh, it's basically two ounces of Bell Mead bourbon, thanks to Charlie and Andy Nelson in uh, Nashville, Tennessee for that delicious product. Then one ounce of the best sweet vermouth on the planet, Carpano Antica sweet vermouth. And then a half an ounce of Averna Amaro. It's a bitter quinine based liqueur from Italy as well. All those things go into this mixing glass, get stirred up on the rocks. And then I actually pour it over seven grams of freshly ground, a local brewed coffee into this pour over. And as you can see, that has finished draining there. At that point, I would just take the coffee out and finish the cocktail by pouring that right over ice in a rocks glass. Voila. And then garnish with Luxardo Maraschino cherries. You get all of the rich, uh, earthy flavors of coffee, but just a hint of caffeine. It's great for by the fire. The next cocktail we're gonna do is a take on a sherry cobbler. It's a very classic way to drink sherry, basically adding fruit and sugar to soften the blow. So I've made a smoked pineapple and ginger simple syrup. We're gonna do an ounce and a half of that. Two ounces of La Cigarera Manzanilla Sherry from San Luca de Barameda in Spain and then a half an ounce of La Gritona, delicious tequila from the highlands of Jalisco. So I've already portioned out these ingredients here. We'll add those to our cocktail shaker. Just a little bit of ice. I'm gonna shake that up, make sure it's nice and mixed. and then strain over small ice cubes, preferably crushed or cracked ice. Voila. And that is our smoked pineapple uh, sherry cobbler. Absolutely delicious. Either one of these cocktails are gonna be amazing when you visit us here in the low country at Montage Palmetto Bluff and just see what it really has to offer. The real low country lifestyle is uh, alive and well here in South Carolina. Cheers.